Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use Firebase Persistence. So this will come in handy when you want to use your app in offline mode or in scenarios where you have no internet. And you still want to read a few things within your app. So first thing you want to do is head over to this Firebase website in which they have documented disk persistence. So I'll leave the link in the description. To enable persistence, we need this code. Copy it. Then we are going to add it to our sketch application activity. And on create. So add it there. Then we also need some imports. So add the Firebase import there. Okay, so we've got our persistence code there enabled and our import for the Firebase database. So simply save, then activate. So this is easier done in Android Studio, but you can still achieve the same effect here. So let's just run our application, go back and run your application when it's done compiling your app should be able to save data for offline usage now install your app open it and let's load some data okay so this is a simple template app uh, website templates you can download the number of templates from here and the good thing is it's got live preview so you can see before you actually download so what will happen is if we turn off our internet close the app we will still have the data that has been loaded here okay so let's try to turn off the data and test close the app completely let's open it we see if our data is still there there we go so you can see the data is still here and yeah there is no need for internet you can still access it apart from downloads which will require buffering So everything that has loaded will be available to your users. So I would recommend this for most applications, especially those that have to do with uh, charting, e-commerce. You need this feature. The data has to be readily available for the user. Even with the internet available, you can still have persistence so that the user is not bored waiting for data to load. Then this persistence goes across the application. So in every activity where you've got Firebase and your lists or whatever data you're catching from Firebase will still be there. If you want to exclude some paths from persistence you can also do this you can just read through the documentation everything is there 